this stuff from other countries. And again, added perspective. Um, you get messages about things like, this is a good budget raiser. And I'm like, well, I wonder if Bill Clark's very good. Um, and so then figuring out how all these stuff came together. All right. Ah. Well, how's it going? So uh, we're just going to test the trigger uh, on the Springfield Armory XDM Elite 3.8 10 millimeter OSP. That should be like five different guns as long as that name is. That's insane. All right. Gonna go ahead and test the trigger. All right. Now, if you see something different here, it's because it's me. I'm different. Um, you'll see. Uh, this is a factory gun, by the way. Okay, it's 100% factory. Nothing's been done to this whatsoever. You do see a polished barrel, but that is because I polished the barrel, because I don't like it looking halfway, you know, like the wear being halfway down. It's like just one or the other, all black or all polished. So that's what I did. All right, let's get to the trigger. Okay. All righty, here we go. Oh, almost messed up again. I, I keep forgetting sometimes that I got to make sure I hit the grip safety. All right. All right, that's exactly what I've been getting. So, hoping you guys can see that. Oh, come on, focus, focus, focus. Can you focus for the people, please? Hello. All right, it's being stupid. Let me help you here. It's showing, um, it's showing four point one, like it's almost four even, but it's just a little above it at four one. Dude, why are you not? There we go. That's a little better. That's a little better. Um, so as you can see there, four point one. It's actually perfectly 4.1. Okay. Um, now, a lot of you probably looked at videos and went, oh, you got to do it three times to make sure that uh, it's... Uh, no, you really you really don't. Um, you're really doing that just to make sure you didn't screw up. But a trigger doesn't have like a, 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 a half of a pound difference. Like if it's... If it's five pounds, it's five pounds. It's not five pounds and sometimes five, five and sometimes four, eight. It's what it is. If there's a difference, it's you did it. It's your fault somehow. Uh, and whether the way you pulled it, uh, you pulled it higher, lower, uh, you pulled a little too fast and a little extra, pushed it up a little bit. And that's what people do a lot is they pull it quick. Not knowing that once you pull, when you pull it quick like that, you're not, when that trigger comes back, you're still kind of pulling it just a little bit after that. And it's adding a little extra, you know, we're, we're dealing with very small differences here. So you got to be slow when you do it. You can't do it fast. I'll give you an example. 
that some people will kind of do this. They'll grab it here and they'll do this, right? They'll do it just like that, right? Run that back again. Or sometimes grab it from a different spot on the trigger, right? Now, I just did that. Look at what this says now, 5.5 pounds. That's what it shows, 5.5 pounds. And that's because when I got to the rear, I still kept going a little bit. But you don't know that because you're doing it so fast. You got to do it slow. So, do it one more time for you. But you guys were able to see that that is a 4.1 pound trigger on the XDM OSP Elite 10 millimeter. One more time here. All right. Same thing, except I went up 0.2. So I messed up. Let me try that again. There we go. Oh, God dang it. I just knocked it up again. Jeez. Ah, sorry, you guys. I, as soon as I grab it, I hit the thing up and it ruined it for you. Chimney crickets. But it was, it was, it was 4-1. Let me try again here. All right. Here we go. All right, perfect. Don't hit it. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so there we go. Once again, 4.1 pounds. Okay, so that's what it is. 4.1 pound trigger. Um, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> what I was doing is I'd, I'd get it and then... I turn it and my thumb, my thumb was hitting it like that a little bit as soon as I turned it around and it'd be at like seven pounds or something. Um, anyhow, sometimes I, I love having this. Um, I don't trust what manufacturers say the trigger pull is at this point because they're almost never right. Um, so I always check all my triggers um, thoroughly, like test them myself. It's just it's it's long the same thing as manufacturers saying, "Oh, this ammo is twelve hundred feet per second, and you know four hundred and eighty foot pounds of energy, right?" And then you go shoot it, and it's like eleven twenty five out of a four and a half inch barrel like they're off 75 feet per second like would you use a seven inch barrel so um that's why i always check it's the same it's the same thing so it is a 4.1 uh, 4.1 pound trigger and it's very uh very mushy here's that's the wall right there and then it's it's smooth it's very smooth all the way back from there but it's not like that's it and then the and then the next thing is boom it's you see how there's a little bit of so that's really what it is wall okay 
Okay. That's that.